Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this Expert Diaries episode from Bologna in spring. I'm so happy it's finally spring. I felt terrible during this winter, which was super long and super gray and humid. So I'm quite happy that finally it's springtime. Although I have to say it's pretty cool today here, but still it feels like spring and I'm so excited to take you with me on this little walk around Bologna and give you a little life update and just share a few thoughts and uh, a few nice places with you as usual in this kind of videos so we can start but before we begin don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and hit the notifications button down below so now let's go with me Something that I like a lot in the urban architecture are these balconies and sadly there aren't too many of them in Bologna. You know, if you've been to Turin, for example, you would have seen lots and lots of balconies uh, in the city center. Here in Bologna you have to search for them, but they're so cute. What do you think, guys? tip for you guys when visiting Bologna if you just walk around you don't need to have a map you don't need to have anything honestly when you walk around the city center all you have to do is pay attention to these little signs on the buildings because the whole city center is a historical center and basically every second building is a historical building like this for example used to be a part of one of the famous towers of Bologna not the pending towers but the towers one of many towers because Bologna used to have tons of them by the way look at this door I mean that's lovely anyway guys uh, that's what I'm saying you can just take a walk uh, walk around the city center and you'll bump into these historical buildings on every step that's lovely I would recommend you, if you come to Bologna and if you have a spare day, just take a stroll in the city center without a plan, without a map, just enjoying the city and discovering it like this. It might seem that um, there are buildings and houses everywhere in the city center and some people actually say that there isn't enough greenery in Bologna and there isn't enough space in the center of Bologna but did you actually know that most of these historical buildings have these amazing uh, internal courtyards there are actually the restoration works but still without disturbing the works I just wanted to show you you can find these kind of courtyards everywhere and if you happen to live in one of these historical buildings chances are your house will have one of these courtyards as well so no it's not the case that Bologna doesn't have any greenery or space Another fabulous thing about these historical palaces, historical buildings where people work and live today are these stairs. Literally, guys, you can find these stairs even in the buildings that are used as homes today. Can you imagine living in a place with a stair like this and climbing up these stairs every day to get to your home?
even a trip to the city center without a visit to the bookshop. I love this bookshop, honestly. It's a huge bookshop, a part of the chain. And some people would say, well, but this is a part of the chain, you know? Yes, but also the choice here is insane. However, I also love these small independent bookshops because, I mean, who doesn't? And I actually have a video from there. I will leave you a link up here, guys, if you want to see the best independent bookshops in Bologna. However, if you need to find something very specific and if you need, you know, a better choice, you know where to look for it, I will leave you a link in the description box where you can find this bookshop as well. I love including coffee in each one of my vlogs and in each one of my videos and uh, you probably know that I'm a huge coffee lover by now and anyway um, I honestly love this rooftop bar I've been here numerous times in my vlog so you probably already know about it and if you don't know I will leave you a link in the description of where to find it and there are these kind of rooftop bars and viewpoints in every major city, in, ma in every major Italian city. And by the way, I have a post about it on my Patreon page. I will leave you a link in the description box, so check it out and subscribe. I have a huge post dedicated to the best viewpoints in major Italian cities and also lots of uh, useful information, travel itineraries, travel tips and expat life tips. So everything you need to know about traveling to Italy or moving to Italy, make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Anyway, speaking of the viewpoints, I think the one behind my back is probably the most famous one in Bologna, the famous two towers. One of them, by the way, is pending. Yes, we have our own pending tower, but um, you know, there is this uh, local legend among students. I might have already told you about it, but maybe you haven't heard it, so I'll repeat it once again. There is this legend in Bologna among the students that you are not supposed to climb up these towers before you graduate and it is said to bring you bad luck and actually um, you will not be able to graduate according to this legend i think that this is probably the most famous legend uh, among students in bologna i have not tried it you know i never felt like trying my luck and uh, trying to see whether i'll graduate or not after climbing up the towers now though that i've graduated probably i can do it now Honestly, I don't know whether I want to do it or not. I've been thinking about it, you know, after all these years of walking under the towers and looking up and thinking, well, one day I'll make it. I don't know whether I want to do it right now because uh, studying is my hobby, absolutely. Continuous education is my hobby. And I feel like a lifelong uh, student, a lifelong learner. So. Uh, once I graduated and I've been thinking about climbing, I, I thought, but what if I want to study again one day? What if I want to try something different one day? What if I want to get another degree one day? So I decided to just, you know, postpone it a little bit and, you know, it's okay, I'll go with the flow. I'll see if one day, maybe in a few years, I'll be ready to climb it up. Maybe not now. I've just decided not to rush the things. Guys, if you remember my graduation vlog, and if you haven't seen it, I will leave you a link up here. Um, there is this tradition of wearing a laurel crown for your graduation, and you have to order it and to actually find a florist that will make it for you, and you can customize it. And it was my favorite part of this whole tradition because, well, it's made of floral, it's the classic one, and then you have these ribbons, and the ribbons usually uh, are the color of your school at the university, and then you can customize it with other things like berries or flowers or stuff, and I wanted mine to be obviously personalized, customized, and I've been looking for the best florist to, you know, 
to, to customize my laurel crown. <laughs> and if you need a good florist in Bologna, this one, guys, is probably the best. I've been to numerous, honestly, countless florists before I found this place and before I ordered my laurel crown here. I loved it so, so much. It was beautiful. It had this uh, color lilies behind and it was really, really cute. But I just have to tell you that before I found this one, I've been to several others and it's been absurd because, you know, it's been totally ridiculous. I went to the first one and they said, well, you have the choice between this and this, that's it. And then I went to another one and they were like, you know, not very enthusiastic about creating the whole thing. Then I found, finally, when I've been to several others, I went here and they were so nice and they offered me all of these different options and they were ready to customize it the way I wanted it and they also suggested a few things. I loved it so much. So. I can totally recommend you a good florist here in Bologna, whether you need a nice bouquet or whether you need a laurel crown. Who knows if you're a student, by the way, let me know in the comments if you're a student at the University of Bologna. I'd love to know about it. So yeah, you know where to look for it. I will leave you a link in the description box. Obviously, no trip to the city center can be complete without a visit to the local market. If you know me, guys, if you've been here for a long time, you probably know that I love farmer's markets and obviously with Italian products, these are the best. I love visiting these small local businesses, small local shops, and I encourage you to do the same once you're here because the products that you'll find in the market will be of the supreme quality. They are literally so amazing that you won't be able to stop eating. And that's it for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog, this uh, lovely, relaxed, pretty relaxed morning in Bologna with me. I love this city and I love showing it to you and I love spending time with you walking here and I hope that you feel inspired to come here and discover it for yourselves. Having said that, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet, hit the bell button down below so you don't miss anything new and as always, like, comment and share this video with your friends. Thank you so much for being here and enjoy your day.